Welcome to our 2K Sports PGA Tour action. We're at the Transatlantic Championship. Today's coverage is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey. It's great to have your company, and I'm alongside Rich Beam in the booth. Rich, let's get stuck into it. What's this opening hole like? Opening tee shot here at the Lynx at Royal Atlantic is a good one. 438 yards from the back, par four. Players are going to take long iron or fairway wood and try and keep it down the left-hand side as best they can. Second shot is going to be up and over a ravine, and you can see here an hourglass-shaped green. This is a very difficult second shot. Depends on the left-hand side. You better be wary of what's to the left of it. No good. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Going with the eight iron here. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, so close. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Oh, what a stroke. Solid par putt, that. Starting the round at even par. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. <laughs> Wonderfully played. 
Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Slim chance here for Birdie, but you never know. That wasn't your best effort, was it? Par putt coming up here. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? I'm well, down here on the third, taking a look at Cameron Champ. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. If that's the right pace, this should drop. And down she goes from outside the range. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Humbled. Great drive. From around 170 yards here. Well, we're hearing some excitement elsewhere on the course. Outstanding approach shot. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Just down here on the fourth hole, taking in a bit of DeChambeau's uh, display. Ooh. Well, that was it. They've hold it. That'll be for birdie. And with it, he moves to one under par. OK, let's get back to the action. Three feet to go here to the hole. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. Look, coming off a of birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. 
looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Sitting at one under the card, currently tied for fourth place. That's a smart option. Back into the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. One stroke off the lead. Opting for the six iron. Is that right? I think so. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Setting up here with a very long putt. Go in. Well, that was a beauty. That had eyes for the hole the whole way. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And let's have another look at that one. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Good shot there. Outside chance here for the birdie. Oh, that's frustrating. This is a par putt. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. John, you're down there. What's happening? Well, guys, I'm down on the sixth, and this is Cameron Champ's next shot. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. Now that's a good putt to hold any day of the week. 
Step aside, everyone else. Now number one. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. You've arrived at a par five. Yeah, that one will play. Second shot here on the sixth. Going with a three wood here. This one's heading left, I think. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Oh, this is exciting, a putt for an eagle. Was on a good line. And they'll tap this in for birdie. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. And that will take him to three under. He's currently in a share of top spot. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Well, this should find the short grass. And from the bunker here. Trying to get it to four under with this putt. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. So after that hole, well, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau from earlier. Lining up for his third now. Well, that's high quality. I'm sure they're aiming for it, but for it to go in, that's awesome. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours.
Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Well, you're a ball striker. There's no doubt about that. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Butting for birdie. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to four under. He's currently tied for first. We have a par four on this one. What a gargantuan tee shot. John, what's going on out there? Hey guys, this is Cameron Champ on the 10th hole. Setting up to play the shot here from the greenside rough. Wow, that was handy holding out from there. That chip in for Eagle works eight days a week in my book. Cameron Champ is one of those players that exploded onto tour, Rich. He brought that power game with him and was a winner straight away. But now he's facing that sort of second-year syndrome, isn't he? He is, Luke, but he's one of these unique players where I think his power can get him through the tough times. I think that if he figures out a way to learn how to play the golf course on the PGA Tour effectively, even his bad weeks will start making cuts and being in contention a little more often. As with most young players, they just need time to develop. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Right by the hole. Big putt for par coming up. Job done. Let's head to the next. Well, a lovely position for this player, Rich. Tied for the lead as they make the turn. Well, this is what you practice for, isn't it? You want to be in the lead, up near the lead, going into the final nine holes of an event to see if you can win it. Let's see how well they've practiced and if it can pay off. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. That is right down the sprinkler line. Sitting at four under for the day, currently tied for top spot. Ooh, looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. And here we are with the third shot. Nice recovery there. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will take him to five under. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play?
You've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours. This tournament's coming alive. I wonder what just went down. Going with the five wood. Uh, I'm not sure that's what they had in their mind. That's further right than they wanted. But not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. And now we go to the 12th, where this happened just a moment ago. Well, this is a fair reason why our leader is where he is on the leaderboard. This is his third. Cameron Champ, Champ by name and Champ by nature. And back to the course with the live action. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Get in. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. And that will take him to six under. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. by a couple after that hole. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Well, that's a handy shot. Time for the second shot at the 12th. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. Over on the 13th hole, and this is Bryson DeChambeau. Oh, my. Oh, my. How about that for a par? And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And that will take him to seven under. Still in the lead now after that hole. Here 
we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. That should find the fairway. Well, Luke, you're right. He did find grass, but it's not the closely mown grass. Going with the three iron. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Getting ready to play their third. Absolutely flushed. And down it goes. He's currently sitting in first place. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. That's heading into the rough, I think. Well, there's uh, action of plenty all over the course. Let's have a look at this highlight from another player. The impressive young Cameron Champ with an amazing shot. I gotta say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Nailed it. Well, let's see how this shot goes from the fairway bunker. Sitting at seven under par for the day. Currently in the lead. How close was that to going down? Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And that's the kind of fighting spirit that keeps a good round going. It was off the tee with their tee shot. Nice save indeed. Currently at seven under for the day. We have a par three on this one. to be going with the five iron. <laughs> Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. Oh, just missed. Opportunity to make their par. And that puddle drop. Well done. Just a small sliver of a lead. This could go any different direction down the stretch. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. 
this hole is so gettable. They're definitely looking to extend that lead by one or maybe even two strokes once the hole is finished. Second shot here on the 16th. And here we are with the third shot. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. Let's head over to the 17th. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Oh, that was bang on target. They're lining up the birdie putt here. Got a great line. Just didn't drop. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Oh, well done. Around 110 yards to go. This one's going right at the pin here. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. This one's for Birdie. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. And that will take him to eight under. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead.
You liked that, didn't you? Second shot here at the 18th. It's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. This is always a good moment. A putt to win the tournament. Look at this. And this putt for a final score of 64. Ladies and gentlemen, they've just won their first ever PGA Tour event. Rich, what do you think's going through their mind right now? Nothing. Uh, they're confused about everything right now. I tell you, you just, you win and you're just, you can't believe it just happened. You really just have no idea. You're shocked. It's a great feeling. And Rich, they only had a narrow margin the entire back nine, but they were able to pull out the win. That's very gutsy, isn't it? Luke, impressive win all around. I got to say, a gutsy performance at the end of the tournament. Final nine holes. Job well done. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.